What's going on guys? My name is Triforce Addiction. Welcome back to another COD Mobile video. So today we are going to be discussing the Diamond OTS. Basically, this video is basically made just to kind of give our final impressions on the new weapon. This is something that I typically do with new weapons. You know, I'll have the Damascus video kind of like giving my first impressions on the weapon, how it's performing so far. And then once I get Diamond, I start, you know, doing a little bit more games outside of shipment uh, to see how this gun truly performs. And yeah, from there, I just make another video. And that's usually the last one that I do make unless there's some sort of weapon change. So the OTS-9 SMG that just got released a few days ago is one hell of an SMG. I'll say that, you know, just to say the least. Um, it kind of like takes the place of quite a bit of, you know, SMGs out here. You know, there are a lot of other ones that do have more of a rapid fire style going with it. I mean, you know, you know, the QQ-9, you have the Fennec, the MX-9, the CBR as well. And it feels like it's one of those weapons that could compete with all of those. And for an SMG that has a really high fire rate, it uh, also does have some pretty high damage to the point where you could four shot from a considerable distance when in most, re in all reality, you probably shouldn't be able to. But the only other weapon that I could think of that does that is either the QQ9 or the CBR4. So this is one of those longer range, fast firing SMGs that are kind of on the overpowered side. And that's typically how SMGs get released nowadays. You know, they usually have a super high fire rate with extreme, like almost near sniper range. And yeah, it kind of outclasses a lot of assault rifles as well. And the crazy thing is that there's no real major downsides. I mean, really the only downsides that is arguable is probably just maybe the the bullet speed, but overall there's no downsides with this thing at all. I mean, this gun is great in almost every aspect. There's not really an area where the OTS-9 kind of falls short. And like I said, bullet speed's the only thing that may be a problem with it, but even then it doesn't really pose like as a huge issue. You have great recoil control, you have good speed, you have good stability, a lot of range, and a pretty decent iron sight. I will say though, there are like another slight downside that it might be a little bit slower than, you know, most other SMGs. Uh, usually the firm grip tape is kind of like what defines the speed of these Black Ops weapons because, you know, the firm grip tape always has like the highest amount of ADS speed that's given to the player that uses it. And it's usually around like 25, maybe 30% more ADS speed. And it is more or less the same when it comes to the OTS-9, but it is a little bit slower than most SMGs that get released. I mean, if you looked at the KSP, if you looked at the LAPA, um, you know, typically they would have extremely fast ADS speed, but this one is actually kind of moderate. In fact, I would say that maybe it could be around the same speed as maybe the Krig 6 as it is right now. And this is, you know, pertaining to just ADS speed, not damage. That's a completely different thing. So here's a class up that I have for you guys. I have large extended Mac B, firm grip tape, along with agency suppressor and VDD, VDV. Sorry, it's, it's always hard to say. Uh, the VDV reinforced barrel, as well as the OWC laser tactical, which I'm surprised it's not called the aim assist laser. But yeah, the reason why I have that there is that it actually does kind of hit targets a little bit better at longer ranges. That's something at least that I noticed, of course, the last attachment with the laser could be personal preference and you could probably replace it with something else. So at the end of the day, the OTS-9 is a pretty solid uh, SMG at the current moment. I don't, I'm not really that sure if it's meta, but I would say that it's very, I guess, dangerously close to being meta. I would say it's a very good competition against the QQ-9 and even the CBR-4, given its speed and high damage and just literally no recoil at all. And for me personally, I like using it because it kind of replaces the 45 round mag option for the QQ9 because as of recently, after the Mythic came out, I was, I've was i been using the 30 round 10 millimeter thing because I mean, I've been getting like three shots, like nothing with that. But I would love to also use the 45 round mag, but the OTS9 could also kind of take its place. And even then you don't really notice the difference. I mean, they both kind of have the same amount of range if you do have that option on for your QQ9. But anyways, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe for some more COD Mobile content. I'll see you guys next time.